We're back. We're in the vineyard room. Tony's over here. It's a great day at Blue Ridge. And guess what? The sun is coming out tomorrow. Did you see it? Oh my God. It is going to be sunny for like the next 15 days straight. Oh my God, guys. My name is Randy. I'm at Blue Ridge Winery where the mission here is always to add life, add value to people's lives. Guys, we've wrapped the deck. Wait till you see it. Mary Wade, I see you, Mary Wade. <laughs> I love Mary Wade I'm going to see you, Mary Wade. We've wrapped the deck. I don't know if you've ever seen this. If you were here last year, you saw it. That we have this wrap that we put around the entire deck. We basically make the outside inside. <laughs> it's awesome. There's people out there right now. Arlene, I see you, Arlene. Oh, my God. I hope you're doing great. Missy, I see you, Missy. Oh, my gosh. You are going to love today's talk. Karen, I see you, Karen. What's happening? Andrew Knapp, I see you. You're going to love today's talk, guys. I love that. Yo, what's happening, man? Yo, Andrew, I love that. Hi, Randy. So today's talk is so much fun. I started writing this this past Sunday, and I've been working on it every day ever since. It's called Small Things Often. I think you're going to love this. It's all about relationships. Yo, Ken, what's happening? I see you, dude. Good to see you this past weekend, man. Good to see you, Jennifer. I see you. Hey there. I like that. Hey there. <laughs> Small things often. You're going to love this. It's all about personal relationships. And the concept is small things often. Yo, Barb, I see you out there. Roseanne popped up. Okay, so Dr. Gottman. You know I'm a big fan of Dr. Gottman. I study that guy's stuff all the time. He has a brand new book out. I couldn't wait for it to come out. It's called The Love Prescription. It's a great read. It's fun stuff. And I believe the anchor of that book is small things often equals relationship success. Steven, I see you, man. What's happening? Hey, Randy. I see you, Steven. Good to see you, man. Barbara, I see you popping up. It starts this. So let me start out with, with a tremendous impact that bids for connection is currently having on your life. Bids for connection. It's huge, guys. This is impacting every relationship every day of their life all the time. And it starts when you're a toddler, it starts as a little kid. Bids are small gestures. They're comments that happen all day long, all day long, right? Roseanne says, very true. I'm with you, Roseanne, right? Bids are, it's a subtle language that we're all speaking to each other every day. And it's, it's actively making or breaking every relationship out there. Dr. Gottman says that bids for connection, they are the fundamental unit of emotional communication. If this is, this is, this changed my life, guys. It's almost as if the light switch got turned on inside me and I'm aware now. It changes everything. Acknowledging and turning towards these bids for connection, it's, it's like making a deposit into the relationship bank account. You with me on this? And there's bids happening all the time. And it's our job to be tuned into these bids. Ignoring or turning away from a bid for a connection is like making a withdrawal from the bank account, from the, from the, the relationship bank account. Okay? This is why some relationships become rich and others go bankrupt. So far, so good, right? Bids for connection. They can be big gestures like humongous ones, or they can be small. They can be spoken. They can be unspoken. There's all kinds of ways to do this. Okay, so let me talk to the guys listening. Okay, so all the guys, right? So Tony's here. I'm here, right? All the guys, are, right? We're all listening. So a bid for an emotional connection happens... When she, when, when she's, I love the hearts. <laughs> when, when she, when you're getting ready for dinner, to go out for dinner and, and she's getting ready and she, and she turns to you and <laughs> I love the hearts guys. Oh my God. And she turns to you and says, how do I look? How, how do I look? Right? Tiff does it to me all the time. She'll get ready. She'll go, how, how do I look? How do I look? Right. She's making a bid for my attention to how she looks. Right. And notice that she's making herself vulnerable in this moment. She's basically making a bid for emotional connection. Please acknowledge me. I worked hard on how I look. Please, please accept my bid for emotional connection. This is a simple one, right? Bidding for connection. You could, and, and the key here is, is vulnerability. She's making herself vulnerable. And us guys, we, we could kind of ignore it. We could act like we're too busy. We're on our phone reading and just kind of go, yeah, you, you look, you look fine. And not even really, not even really look. In that moment, if that were to happen, that would be a withdrawal from the uh, relationship bank account. That would be a withdrawal if you didn't acknowledge it. Or you could look at her and go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you look absolutely gorgeous. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And just like that, we made a deposit in the relationship bank account. You see, I love the hearts, right? <laughs> Dolly, Marie, I love it. <laughs> I'm with you. You see how the bids happen? They happen all day long, right? Roseanne, I love that. Frank always compliments me. Oh, go Frank, right? You know that even toddlers do this? So this past week, I've been very tuned into this stuff. And I'm, I realized that even Natalie does it. My little girl, Natalie, she walked up to me the other day and goes, she goes, dad, dad, watch me, watch, watch me do this. She's bidding for my attention to please acknowledge me. Please tune into me. 
And, 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 and I, I, I did, and obviously I made a deposit in our little bank account we have. It's such good stuff, isn't it? She wanted to be acknowledged. This all sounds simple and easy, doesn't it? That is until life hits. <laughs> because right now, your attention is trying to be pulled in a thousand directions. And life is moving really fast. In fact, time is moving so fast right now that any question you have, you can go on your phone and get an answer for it right now. That's how fast time is moving. Sometimes life can move too fast. And we start missing these bids for connection. And if we start missing the bids for connection, the withdrawals begin to happen from the emotional, from the relationship bank account. And these withdrawals from the relationship bank account, they can only go on so long until there's nothing left to withdraw. And at that moment, the relationship is bankrupt and there's no going back. So here are some simple tactics, simple, easy things to make sure the relationship always stays very rich and it never goes into the negative. It always stays rich. This is what's worked for Tiff and I, by the way. We do this all the time. Okay, so here it is, the first one. Ask your partner very big, open-ended questions. Tiff and I do it all the time. You know what happens when you ask open-ended, big, big questions? You dream, you imagine, it inspires you. It builds hope in your future. And you know, inspiration is truly oxygen to your soul. You need inspiration. I need inspiration. We all need inspiration. Andrew said, yes, very true. I'm with you, right? God, you know, think about it. When people meet, they're young. They, have, they usually don't have much money. They don't have a lot of ability, not much resources, not much means, yet they dream big together. They dream what's possible. Imagine dreaming when you had more wisdom, more money, more resources, more ability to make your dreams come true. Imagine the exciting conversations you could have when you have all the, the resources to actually make it happen. It could become so exciting. I can tell you, uh, first-hand knowledge, guys. Tiff and I dream all the time. So that one's easy, right? Okay, so ask big, open-ended questions all the time. Always talk about it. I love that, Ralph. <laughs> I love these. Thanks, Ralph. I appreciate it, man. I work hard on them. I study like 20 hours on this thing. So the next one's easy. The next one is always say thank you. Man, how many times does that drift in our life, right? We just, we just, we just take it for granted and, and life drifts because you're so comfortable around each other. Always, always, always say thank you. You know, we think about it. We say thank you to the bank teller every single time. Say thank you to your loved one every single time. Don't ever let that drift. I like that. Roseanne, we do. I'm with you, Roseanne. I love that. Man, you know, William Faulkner's got a quote on this stuff. He says, gratitude is a quality similar to electricity. It must be produced and discharged and used up in order to exist at all. I love that. It's a great quote. By saying thank you, you're going to keep and maintain a culture of appreciation in the relationship. And this is huge. I can tell you, I love when Tiff says thank you to me. I love it. It feels good. And I know, I know she loves it, right? I've never heard someone say, God, you know what I hate? I hate when someone says thank you. <laughs> no one ever said that, right? Everyone loves it. All right, number three. Give real compliments. Give real compliments. <laughs> Why did you fall in love with him in the first place? Think back about that and then hang on to it and make a comment about it every single day. Every day. Every day I talk to Tiff about why I love her and how much I love her. <laughs> love that redhead, oh my God. <laughs> Have you ever heard someone, else, someone say, I can't stand compliments, they just drive me nuts, they make me feel so sad. No one's ever said that. <laughs> Give real compliments every single day, all day long. In fact, you should become a spy, spying out and seeking out every single thing your partner does to find more things to compliment about. It's such a great tactic because it works so good. I love the hearts. I'm with you guys. Chris Rock's got a quote on this. Chris Rock, he goes, there's only three things women need in life. They need food, water, and a compliment. <laughs> I love Chris Rock, right? Oh my God. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Make compliments a daily thing. And did you know, do you know that Dr. Gottman, before he was a, uh, a relationship guru, psychologist type guy, he was a mathematician. Do you know that? He actually went to college to be a math teacher, and then he changed halfway through. So he's in the math. And Dr. Gottman says that there's a math formula that can predict your relationship. It's five to one. Five to one will predict the outcome of your relationship. For every single one negative thing that you have going on in that relationship, one negative interaction, you need five to overwhelm that one. If you don't, it's gonna crash. Five to one. He's proven this with scientific studies, five to one. This is only during conflict, he says, only during an argument. 
And a, a positive thing might be a smile, touching them, leaning in, expressing understanding. You're going to need five to one during conflict. <laughs> Couples that last, they know how to fight without damaging their relationship. And they keep a five to one positive to negative sentiment override happening during that conflict. During everyday life, Dr. Gottman says it, it's got to kick all the way to 20 to one. 20 to one is the number. 20 to one. You got to have a 20 to one ratio of positive things happening to negative. If you don't have that, you're, you're, we're in trouble. This is why compliments, saying thank you, having those hope filled, exciting conversations, it matters so much in your relationship because you've got to maintain that 20 to one every day. And when you're doing this stuff, you're giving compliments, you're saying thank you, you're basically just making those deposits into that relationship bank account and, and you're building up and it's becoming rich and rich and rich. And then when the one thing happens, it, it's okay. Because the relationship is so rich that it can withstand a withdrawal and still be wealthy. It's great stuff. Dr. Gottman's got it going on. You know, everyone is making de these deposits in bank accounts all day long. They're, they're either depositing or withdrawing all day long. The last idea for today, this is huge. Oh my God. The last idea, okay? It has to do with the difference in understanding between the difference between intention and impact. Dr. Gobbin says that this single factor can predict the future. Intention versus impact. And in his book, he describes this contraption he had where he was able to nail down someone's intention of what they wanted to do and the impact that it actually had. And the people that their intention and their impact aligned always were successful. But a lot of people, have you ever heard someone say something like, I didn't mean it like that? Or, well, that's not what I meant. All right, we've all heard that, right? What they're saying is, my intention did not line up with the impact. I didn't mean it like that. Studies from Dr. Gottman says this, intentions mean nothing. It gets a zero. Impact gets everything. Impact has, has a 100% if you were to give a percentage of the value of each one, intentions, zero, impact, 100. That's how huge it is. The world doesn't give us what we want. It gives us what we demand from our actions. You know, even an angry person screaming and yelling, they would probably say, boy, I had good intentions. Isn't that true? Right? <laughs> I like that. Amen. <laughs> <I'm with> you. <laughs> your life is simply a timeline of your thoughts, isn't it? So for relationship success, always remember... Small things often. I love y'all. <laughs> Thanks for being a part of my life. Thanks for letting me write these things. It makes me, makes me think better. It makes me clear. Oh my God, guys. I love you so much. I love the hearts. Oh my God. Guys, check out the winery. We've wrapped the deck. Do you know we're doing more? The vineyard room's going to get wrapped. The, the sun deck is going to get wrapped. There's new wines coming out like always. You see the Halloween wines? Oh my God. We have a black sparkle wine now, a purple, and what other color? An orange one. Oh my God, right? And we, we didn't even mean to release it, but there was some bottles sitting on the counter. We're like, oh my God, yeah, there we go. Let's do it. Guys, I love you. It's going to be a great, great fall season. Hope it added value to your life. See you guys. Bye, Arlene. See you, Andrew. Bye, guys. Bye, Jennifer. See ya.